by 2004. I am old. Oh, man. Um, you know, one nice thing about being old is uh, there are about 30 people in this audience who um, I've worked with before in a bunch of different companies or who've worked for me. And it's really fun to have people come up. Um, it's, just, it's just wonderful. It's great. Um, I have a real privilege today um, in introducing my former colleague and friend, Linda Zakakis. She's an outstanding woman of achievement and a seasoned leader. And I can't begin to tell you how thrilled I am that she's being recognized today for her accomplishments, which are far, far from over. Linda joined American Express in 2011 as Executive Vice President and Corporate Controller, where she leads a team of more than 750 people in nearly 40 countries. She's a member of American Express's global management leadership team, so she's heavily involved in everything having to do with the firm. And particularly important for this audience today, Linda is also the executive sponsor uh, for the New York Executive Women's Interest Network within American Express. American Express's gain in 2011 was Ally Financial's loss, um, which is my company. I, uh, I was lucky enough to work closely with Linda during part of her tenure at Ally Financial, where she held a variety of positions um, and was very well regarded. And I'm very glad that I got to both work with her and know her before she left the company. Now let me set the stage. Among many other stumbles, <clears throat> Ally had gotten into deep regulatory trouble with its bank. And that might not have been so bad if the bank hadn't been designated as the future of the company and the linchpin to the company regaining its financial health. So go figure how you get in that situation. I became chair of the bank when I joined Ally, and three months later was handed one of the nastiest regulatory to-do lists I've ever seen. And when I looked around for people to help and everyone else backed up, Linda stepped forward. She loves a challenge, is a master of simplifying the complex, has a brilliant mind, and never loses her composure or her smile. And she's tough as nails. She is a fabulous partner. She is also a very resilient professional. Uh, in my opinion, resilience is a key attribute of women who make it to the top ranks of their professions, although we don't talk about it very much. And of course, my comments so far would have you believe that it was a straight path, forever upward, that brought Linda to the stage today. But that's not so. And not so for most female leaders of distinction. As we all know, still today, female DNA is, in, is scarce in the top ranks of most professions. Somewhere in the middle of our careers, the pyramid narrows, there are fewer seats, and the complexion of competition changes, and the advantage swings to the men. For the men in the audience, this is really true, too. Despite Linda's proven abilities, there was a time when she didn't get the next big job that she rightfully was entitled to. There were times when she wasn't allowed in the boys' club. And there were times when her employer lost out because Linda, one of the best and brightest, wasn't at the table. But Linda never lost her self-confidence, never lost her appetite for the challenge, never lost her edge, and never lost her fan club. And some of that fan club from her ally days is here today to cheer her on. Linda's always been a role model for the women around her, and we are pleased that she is being recognized today, not only for her extraordinary accomplishments, but for the resilience that made them possible. I give you Linda Zukakis. Thank you, Barbara, um, for your kind words. Very humbling um, and quite an honor to be here today. Um, so as I started to collect my thoughts on what I would say under these bright lights today, a Dr. Seuss book came to mind. Oh, the places they will go. In my own journey, I've been able to experience some amazing places, and I've had some incredible experiences. 
many of which you heard about from Barbara. <laughs> there have been times that have been challenging and times that I had to fight to hang on. As Dr. Seuss deftly points out, it's been an adventure of highs and lows. And I can honestly and proudly say that my own exciting and sometimes tumultuous journey has led me to my current role at American Express. Working for American Express is a dream job. And I could not have predicted today's amazing dream 20 or 30 years ago. I stand here today because of a village of people who have supported me over the years. I'm so grateful to the individuals and organizations that have opened doors and created opportunities for my personal and professional journey. As a little girl growing up in a small town in West Texas, I never would have imagined that I would be experiencing a moment like this one. Where I come from, the spotlights typically shine on Friday nights when the entire community turns out to cheer on the hometown high school football team. I have so many fond memories of those Friday night lights spent with my parents, Sam and Bess, who traveled in from Austin with my best friend from high school, Lisa, to see me under these bright lights today. I learned, <laughs> I learned so many things from my parents that I apply each and every day. I learned to work hard, to treat others with respect, to be a leader, to never ever give up, and to aim high. My ability to have so many fantastic personal and professional experiences has been made possible by my wonderful husband, St. James, <laughs> who I think knows me better than I know myself. Together, we are the parents of Charlotte, who is here today, and Chris, who is in Ann Arbor, Michigan today, as he prepares to graduate from the University of Michigan on Friday receiving a master's in accounting degree. James and I are so proud of the young adults that Chris and Charlotte are becoming and pleased that they seem to have inherited many of the character traits that our parents instilled in us, especially to respect one another, to do the right thing, and to make smart decisions. I would not be sharing this moment with you if about five years ago, I hadn't had the pleasure of meeting an amazing businesswoman, Barbara Yastine, one of America's top 10 women in banking. Now that's an accomplishment. Thank you, Barbara, for our relationship over the years and for being such an inspirational leader to me, for especially giving me your support and your counsel during the time we worked together. As Barbara said, in 2011, I joined American Express and met another amazing role model, Louise Parent, our former general counsel and another former Aiming High Award recipient. Louise is now of counsel with Cleary, Gottlieb, Steen, and Hamilton, and I'm honored that her firm, Cleary, is here today to support Legal Momentum and Aiming High. As I think about the mission of Legal Momentum, I'm brought back to my earlier point. Life can be an exciting journey, and if you're armed with your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you can get pretty far in life. But in my experience, and with due respect to Dr. Seuss, I believe you need advocates, you need sponsors, and you need cheerleaders to reach the highest heights. And that's what Legal Momentum is the nation's oldest legal advocacy organization dedicated to advancing the rights of women and girls does for those who aren't lucky enough to have Sam, Bess, Chris, Charlotte, James, Lisa, Barbara, Louise, and, count, and countless others in their court. Legal Momentum continuously opens doors and creates opportunities for women. I think I share the view of my fellow honorees in stating that we would not be here without the support of others who helped us along the way. And it's important to us that we pay it forward today by being here with you to advocate for this cause that does for so many what's been done for us. Thank you for ensuring the continuation of Legal Momentum's great work and to ensure that our daughters, sisters, nieces, and generations of women behind them will be able to live out their dreams and share their stories. Oh, the places they will go. Thank you again, Legal Momentum, for this incredible honor. Thank you.